Hi, this is Gary from Cheetah Transformation, and this is a Smartsheet Premium App Overview for Control Center. Smartsheet Control Center delivers project consistency and visibility at scale by automating project creation, aggregating portfolio reports, and managing change. This is a schematic of Smartsheet Control Center. There are five pillars, initiation, creation, live projects, reporting, and archiving, all underpinned by eight key elements. This short video will focus on elements two, intake sheet, three, project templates and control center, and six, reporting. Once you've watched this video, if you'd like more information on the other elements, head to the longer control center video and the global update videos on the Cheetah Transformation YouTube channel. Let's start with number three, project templates, as this is the heart of the Smartsheet Control Center, and have a look at what a template set can look like. For the purposes of demonstration, let's imagine that we are new product development managers at Coca-Cola. So this would be our template set for working through a new product development project. We have a project dashboard, four sheets, and the associated reports that the project needs. Starting with the project dashboard, this holds all the key information about the project, but as a template, of course, this is empty. If we click through to the project plan, you can see that it has been set up with the standard project stages and steps that every project needs to go through, but of course has no start finish date or assigned to because that will all be added when the project goes live. The other sheets in the template set, the weekly update, the raid log and the forecast are similarly created. They have been set as standard but with no information so that they are ready to be used for a project. This demo is using new product development as an example, but of course a template set can be created for any type of project. Now we've had a look at the template set, let's have a look at how we turn that template set into a project. This is the intake sheet, element two in our schematic. It holds information that has been stipulated as required to set up a new project. Information can be added via a form or it can be added directly into the sheet and dates, names, links or even attachments can also be added. Within an intake sheet, you can use the automation options to add an approval workflow, which means only projects that the business wants to proceed with will actually be set up. We've done that here, and we're capturing the output of that approval flow here in the project approval column. Once a project has been approved, it can now be created in Control Center. Once a project has been created, the system will automatically tick this button and add a link into this column. And that means a project can't be set up twice. As you can see, we've got several projects approved but not yet set up. So let's head over into Control Center and get one of those set up now. Start by selecting the blueprint or template set you want to use. So in our case, we're going to use CTNPD, the one we looked at earlier, and then we press Next. We want to set up our project, including all the sheets and reports that we looked at earlier. So again, we will press Next, and this is where we get to choose which project we're setting up. If we do this drop down, it will show us the list of all the projects that we saw that were already pre-approved in the intake sheet. So we can select one of those and it will then populate this information. We then press next. We'll be asked about sharing. If you wish to choose uh, at this point who your project is shared to, you can add them in here. Otherwise, just press create project. This will take a few minutes to do, so we'll go over and look at a project that was set up earlier. We've set our control centre to store all our live projects in one workspace together. Let's have a look at Cucumber and Vitamin E. Opening the project folder, you can see that all the templates we saw earlier exist and that control centre has prefixed each with the project name so it's easy to keep track of what's what. When we open the dashboard, you'll again recognise this dashboard from earlier, but now it's populated with all the information being generated within a live project. We've also got information here that we added to the intake sheet. So we have the links, we have who is in the team, and we have the target launch date, for example. Moving to the project plan, in a similar way, you can see that that now is populated with dates and with whose tasks are assigned to, and is tracking the status of tasks as we go, and feeding that information back onto the dashboard, where we can see overdue and current tasks. This is a great way to keep an overview for a single project, but we also need to be thinking about visibility at a portfolio level, and this is where Smartsheet Control Centre really excels. Each project that exists within our project workspace is sending information to the Blueprint Summary Sheet, element number five, in real time. And that means the Blueprint Summary Sheet becomes a repository of all live project information that can be used across the business. 
By using a range of dashboards, different users can access different information that's relevant to them, again, in real time. The most common dashboards we see are an executor portfolio with an overview of all projects, team or department dashboards that are just covering the projects relevant to that team or department, and the My Dashboard, which is an individual tailored view of the projects the individual is involved with. Here are some examples of those using our project workspace. This is the executive or portfolio dashboard for our imaginary soft drinks new product development projects. The top section covers the headlines across the portfolio, numbers of projects, their stage, their health, as well as links to other key dashboards. Further down, we give key information on each project organised by project stage. If any of the viewers of the dashboard want more information about any of the projects, they can simply click on the project link and will be taken to the project dashboard. This means that we're getting all the key information and in all the projects made visible without overloading anyone with details that they really don't need. With that in mind, we've created separate department or category dashboards for each of the four drinks types. These are very similar to the portfolio dashboard, but only include projects that fall under that category. So you can see that here in the carbonates dashboard, we only have five projects listed rather than the seven we have in total across the portfolio. Again, this is about getting the most relevant information to the different audiences in the quickest and most easy way. Finally, we have the My Dashboard. And this is like a system generated to-do list. It's gathering all the tasks assigned to me from across all the projects created through Control Center. And this dashboard is dynamic. It responds to the viewer. Everyone who looks at this dashboard will see a different view. They'll only see their own tasks when you use this dashboard. So with all these dashboards, including this portfolio one, they're updating themselves automatically in real time. So there's a real reduction in the time and effort spent on reporting and updating on projects. So in this video, we've looked at the blank project template set. We've looked at the intake sheet and using the information there to generate a live project. We've seen how once we have several live projects, we can bring information together from them in the blueprint summary and generate uh, different dashboards for different needs. That's only a small part of what we can do with Control Center. So if you'd like more information on the other elements, head over to the longer Control Center video and the global update videos on the Cheetah Transformation YouTube channel, or check out our website where you can find blogs and further information. And thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. And for further details on our free and paid Smartsheet training courses, please visit the training and events section on our website at www www.cheetahtransformation.co.uk Alternatively, contact us directly on help at cheetahtransformation.co.uk to arrange a call to discuss your requirements further.